Hi there. Hello. Thank you for joining us. I am Chidi Akuna. And I am Victor Akuna. This is an offshoot of Foundation for Family Affairs. And our mission is simply to connect hearts and raise healthy families. If you're watching this, you might be on our YouTube channel. And if you are on it, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Today, we'll be addressing something um, simple but life transforming. Achieve your family goals. Five short steps. I'll let you set up the background. Well, there, <laughs> there is something we always say when we talk to couples, we talk to singles, we always say that your marriage, the purpose of your marriage is not your marriage. Mm -hmm. In other words, marriage is not an end in itself. Mm -hmm. It's a means to an end. There is a purpose. There is a reason why you are together. There is a, there is a value you are bringing to, you are supposed to be bringing to improve the lives of people. So That's you are not true. just there to improve each other's lives. That's a priority. Mm -hmm. But you are also there to add value to the lives of people. There are people that, mm -hmm. by just looking at how you manage finance in your marriage, will tweak a little thing in their own marriage. There are some people that at the moment, they look at how you raise your children and they will be inspired to do a better job as right. parenting. That's there right. are people that the way you resolve conflict with each other can just be the turning point. Mm -hmm. So your marriage has a purpose. When you find what that purpose is, you can now begin to channel all your resources, both human and financial and any other resources at your disposal to accomplishing that. Mm -hmm. So this video is mainly for those people who have found what their purpose is mm -hmm. and who have a who have a dream or a goal that they want, they want to achieve. So we want to share some of the tips, some of the tips that has helped us to be able to achieve the family goal that we've set for ourselves and able to accomplish it over a period of time. time. So some examples of goals you might be considering mm. might be goals of um, relocation. Yes. Yeah, probably um, buying a new property. Yep. Or other goals. Um, yes. A key thing is relocating. Maybe you want to move your family from one place to the other. Buying your property, yeah. maybe sending your child to Ivy, Ivy League school. Starting right? a business. Starting your own business or yes. your family business. Starting out a charity together. Yes. Okay. So the first point for this is you must be dissatisfied Absolutely. about where you are. Yep. Now, you know, so one might say, what if I'm dissatisfied and my spouse is not? Mm. Okay. So this is where it becomes critical that you communicate that dissatisfaction. Mm you carry the other along. It's not just enough for you to say, oh, I have this goal, yeah. uh, my spouse is not interested, I'm just gonna run off and yeah. do it. That might be fine, you might achieve that, mm -hmm. but what's the point getting that, achieving that goal and then losing your family? Mm -hmm. You look around, you look behind and they're not with you. Yes. Uh, personally, for me, that my, my family being with me would be a motivation yes. to do that. Absolutely. Okay, so if your spouse is not in it, you can talk to your spouse. Mm -hmm. um, people resent their spouse Houses even more yeah. when they go on to achieve something yes you achieved that yeah. and you're feeling like the superstar yeah. everyone raves you know sings your praise yeah. but your spouse resents you yeah. that's that in itself is not a good thing yeah. so um how about talking to your spouse it might take longer yeah. okay in doing this because you want a buy-in from your spouse Absolutely. it might take longer but in the end at the end of the day what matters is that you wanted to build a healthy family yeah. don't forget what we're talking about yeah. what we we talked about our mission at the start of it mm. you want a healthy family where everyone in that bubble is happy mm. truly truly happy mm. you know and things are done right mm. uh, i think my mentor one of my mentors put it like this called inspirational dissatisfaction mm -hmm. once you are dissatisfied with where you are where and that often comes when you see there's a new possibility mm. and that is something else that both of you are supposed to accomplish as a family but and that's where this is where i like to just appreciate those couple the couples where both of you are always in sync. The moment your spouse sees something, you key in immediately. You don't know what you have. You should celebrate it. I'm telling you, it's not common. It's not common. So if you have it, celebrate it. Where you have a vision and your spouse keys into it 100%, and both of you are hitting your target, it's a, you guys are in a privileged place. Please celebrate and don't lose it. It's a very fantastic quality. And so, so if you find yourself in a situation whereby you have to convince your spouse, like my wife said, it's very powerful. For you to have a buy-in you don't want you know maybe you have a choleric temperament where you mm. just drive your spouse along you know mm. you guys you will accomplish the goal sure. but it's not a sustainable strategy yes. all right the yes. best strategy is when you bring people together like uh, i think it was um john uh, what's his name michael jordan that said it takes one man to win a, a game yeah and it takes a team to win a tournament you know that was you can only go so far as an individual but as it's at a certain point you need to learn how to communicate and to pull your spouse along mm. 
Mm. It's very important. Mm. Why? Well, because you can drag people along, but as people begin to develop and become better, for example, as a toddler, you can just pull your child. Ah, this is where you're going to yes, go. Yes. But the more they become self-aware, they become teenagers. You need to communicate with them. You need to engage them. Otherwise, they will resent you. Yeah. All right, and that same thing applies. So, very first point here is you must be dissatisfied. And how do you become dissatisfied? Number one, look, look. You know, ask yourself: Is this all? You know, because see, there is nothing you, you can't help someone who is comfortable where they are because mm-hmm. everything that they want. Every a better life is on the other side of your comfort zone. Mm. So if you are comfortable where you are, mm. you might not see the reason to, to move. And the thing about comfort is this: comfort makes people begin to deteriorate. You begin to uh, um, lose zeal for life. Mm. It's like a car that is parked in a garage. If you leave it for a while, you begin to rust. That's how you or your house that is abandoned. Anything that is abandoned does not move forward. It actually retrogresses. If, mm. if you think of it, mm. if you things get worse, so. First thing first is to say, is this all? Mm-hmm. Is there more that is there? We can can we add more value to the lives of people? Can we add more value to our lives? What more is there to conquer? All right. So there may be something that your parent didn't do quite well. Maybe your parent lived in the city for over thirty years. They didn't own their own property. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do about that? Mm-hmm. How do you want to change that trajectory? Mm-hmm. How do you want to change your family tree? Mm-hmm. Ask yourself questions and dig deep so that you can get something motivating that would cause you to be dissatisfied with where you are. Then when you are dissatisfied. We'll talk about the next point. Yes, which is have a clear cut picture. Spot on. A clear cut picture. Spot now, on. you want to travel. In a case like that, using yeah. relocation, yes. for instance, yeah. uh, you may need to talk to those who have walked it. Yes. Those who have gone from A to Z. Mm. Okay. Um, we know this family, they were with us and then they transited. Mm. What did they do? Mm. Talking with them, you, you'll be surprised what you can pull from mm. their wealth of resource, their wealth of experience. Absolutely. You know, and it kind of, you know, reduces your, it just shortens the journey for mm. you, mm. right? Rather than having you make a lot of mistakes mm. in the course of it, in yes. trying to figure out things yourself. Mm. So have a clear cut picture. This is mm. what we're doing. Mm. You see why it's even important that you have your spouse on board. Mm. You know, that, that team spirit. Mm. So we can win this tournament. Absolutely. Come on, let's do it together. Absolutely. You know, and then um, this is where we're going to for what I'll give you a picture of what happens in our house, <laughs> in our family. He will get pictures if it's something we're working towards. Like, okay, this is the goal. Yeah. He'll get pictures and put it everywhere. They'll be in your face yeah. everywhere you turn. Yeah. He'll he'll look for places, communal areas where we sit, yeah. for uh, where we spend a lot of time. He'll put those pictures there. So yeah. as you keep seeing them, it becomes your reality. Yeah. You know, you pull it. You pull this picture in. You yeah. keep taking it in. Yeah. It, 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 in no time, your emotion. Emotions will catch up. Yes. Right? What's that thing you always say about emotions? That well, emotions are influential. Yes. Is it? Yeah. Because if you break the word emotion, it's energy in motion. Mm. All right. Well, I, w- I want to just uh, make a few points on this last point, which is more like create a, a clear picture. Mm. Now, the clearer your picture, the future you are going to, the clearer it is in your mind, the faster you get there. Mm. And that's why we like to use pictures that are based on the world, because you need things that will reinforce. Mm-hmm. That thing you believe because vision leaks, yes. all right. Um, the way you, your human mind works is that it only accommodates or goes after what it sees consistently, mm-hmm. all right. That's why you say, guard your guard your uh, guard your mind because out of it, that issues of like, whatever gets into your mind is what you perceive. Sure. Those are the things that catch your emotion, those are the things that you wrap your energy around. So, the clearer is so, for example, we want to get to this country, not we want to tr- want to relocate. No, what which country do you want to go to? Why are you going in there? What are you going to do when you get there? Have a clear cut picture because your brain, if it doesn't understand, it will protect you, it will try to protect you. Protecting you means it will be shutting down information. But once your brain thinks that this is possible, you begin to look into your subconscious mind, environment, to begin to bring information that will mm. help you fulfill that. That's how it works. Mm. All right? The brain is an incredible machine mm. given to us by God. So, very key thing, very clear what you want, mm. you know, and have the input of your spouse. All right, there's benefit in diversity. There's a way a woman sees life that a man can never see a life. Mm-hmm. See life that way. There's a way a man sees life, sees life that a woman can never. So bring that diversity from her experience, her understanding, her worldview. It will help you create a more robust perspective about where you guys are going. Mm-hmm. And that way also, you have a buy-in. Rather than you being the one driving it all the time, you know, 
if she's also on board, she will find for my contact, you'll find information that will help what you guys are trying to achieve. So the first point is be dissatisfied where you are going at, where, where you're at. Next thing is to clarify where you need to be. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. Clarify where you need to be. That's the next point. So the next point is the point we often would use in our coaching sessions, which is explore how you would feel Absolutely. when you get there. Absolutely. Now I touched a bit on it when yes. I said when I talked about your emotions. Yeah. Because now in exploring, this is you taking time to think about it. Mm. It's such a busy world out there. There are mm. a lot of things competing for our time that yes. we rarely have time to think. Mm. Remember when we were younger, we would have time to sit and daydream. Mm. But those were really good, mm. really good. So I mm. think uh, even with the way things are, we need to fight for that time mm. to have time to think and reflect and mm. meditate on things. Mm. As you think, as you brood mm. on these things, Absolutely. your mind, it, it becomes clearer in your mind, yes. you know, and then it starts, you know, working on your emotions. Mm. You start, oh, how is it going to feel when I get to that country? Mm. You know, what would we be doing? Absolutely. Oh, how would it feel when I walk into the house? Mm. You're drawing it, you're making it, mm. you're making it tangible yes you know it, yes. Becomes, it becomes easier keyword you, know? you are making it tangible you are feeling it mm. you are living the reality of it you're acting well, no make it so practical what song will i sing when i get to that country mm. what would the first thing i'm going to do mm. when i land leave the airport and i breathe in the air mm. what is the first thing mm. those questions will help you rule your mind you know transport yourself there yes. emotionally before yes. you get there physically yes. like all right like very it. important otherwise mm realities of life the issues of life will push you away from that goal and then will slow down the process mm. all right so constantly discuss during meal how are we going to behave differently what do we need to put what degree do you need to, to have how do you prepare yourself mm-hmm. what would you do differently mm-hmm. have conversations as if you are there mm. live in that reality live in the present tense as it mm-hmm. make that experience your present tense your mm-hmm. present reality mm-hmm. in your emotion mm-hmm. this is very important in what mm-hmm. you want to achieve anything mm-hmm. Okay, so the next one is you need to then come up with a plan. Yes. Your plan must have a deadline. Mm. <laughs> you, you, okay, by this time mm. we would have achieved this. Yes. And this is yes. what we need to do to Absolutely. get there. You Absolutely. Know, you draw up a, a plan. A plan puts the whole thing in motion. Mm. You're saying it, okay. Mm. If and it just it helps you move. Mm. Yeah, you know when you t- you talked about um, comfort zone, leaving your comfort zone earlier. Yes. So that plan helps you know. Oh, if by we have a plan for April. If mm. by April we haven't done that, then we know what like, what like, <laughs> what like, like we need to move, move, move Spot on. you know get things moving mm. and there's something my dear hobby would always say mm. you know communicate your plan absolutely sell it absolutely don't coerce the other absolutely. person absolutely <laughs> absolutely sell it every time mm. every time you know when to stop when you get there <laughs> that is when to get there Right. When people are sick and tired of hearing you talk about it, mm. when they begin to move, mm. all right, where every morning, so for example, make sure that your daily activities align with your plan. Mm. Some of the people have very fantastic plan. Mm. It's watertight, but they don't take any action. It's as good as a paper that's lying on. Mm. So make sure that every decision you make, every mm. action you take, are all in alignment. So you evaluate, mm. what did we do today that led us to this goal? Yeah. Yeah. Evaluate, evaluate. It's powerful when you're doing it as a team. It's yes. beautiful. I'm telling you. Yes. That way, once people can see where they are going to, mm. and they see how that place will improve their lives, mm. they will buy in. Mm. And when they buy in, mm. they will be willing to make the sacrifices because That's any true. goal you want to That's achieve, true. there are sacrifices that must be paid. Mm-hmm. There are sacrifices. Otherwise, everybody will be successful. Mm. All right? What drives people away? Because they are not willing to make the sacrifices. Mm-hmm. So any that, for example, you want to relocate, by the time you hear the cost, where it will cost you, it's possible that you begin to become dissuaded or you procrastinate on it. Mm-hmm. There are sacrifices. All right? So uh, sometimes you may have to uh, you know, cut down on your ex- expenses on some things that are very important to you that you love to do, but you have to put it on hold because of this other goal. Mm. All right, you have to choose between your present and your future. Mm. If your future looks better, mm. you have to make sacrifices for it. Mm. Mm. Okay, so the fifth one is develop yourself. Yes, spot on. Develop yep. yourself. Mm. Get yourself unsteady. Get yourself unsettled. Mm. Get yes. yourself uncomfortable. Yes. You know, go seek ideas. What do I need to do to, to, to achieve that goal? Absolutely. Okay, I, if, if I remain the way I am, I mm. would struggle yes. if I even eventually get on yes okay if i'm enrolled on the course now developing yourself would maybe you researching a bit about mm-hmm. oh, okay properties where 
you would also be asking, okay, uh, where would we want to um, locate ourselves? Yeah, where would we um, find good schools? Good schools for our children. Yeah. That's you, you know, upgrading yourself. Upgrading, mm-hmm. you, you're beginning to think like people who have achieved that goal. Yes. People who are working it. Mm-hmm. How much do you need to set aside? What to decide the property you need? Mm-hmm. How do you buy a property? What are the what are the um, what are the costs? Different things. How do you get a good solicitor? Mm-hmm. You know, if you buy a brand new house or a second hand house, what are the advantages? Mm-hmm. Do all these researches. You mm-hmm. know, what are the things you should look at for if you're buying a, a, a second hand house? Mm-hmm. What are the things? You know, there are basic things you need. You can't just jump into any yes. goal. Yes. There are things you need to learn. Yes. You need to become a different version of yourself to be able to do something different mm-hmm. every time. Okay, so we've touched on the five things. Okay, mm. be dissatisfied with where you are. Absolutely. Okay, then the what's the second one? Have a, a clear cut cost. picture. Yes. The third one is your emotion. You must connect your emotion to where you'll be. Explore how you feel how you're when feel. you get there. Mm-hmm. Then the fourth one. Yeah. Is it develop yourself? Come up with a plan. Come up with a plan. And yes. then the fifth one, develop, develop. yourself. And then we have a bonus one. You know what that bonus one is? <laughs> Find the people that have been there. That will take you people that will hold you accountable mm. all right there is something about word of mouth so if you want to be a millionaire look for five millionaires and befriend them get into their thinking mm. ask them how when you made your first million how did you feel mm. what happened what did you have to change that made you make that transition mm. there are questions you ask people that something from them will jump into you that will make you think that this is possible for me mm. the moment your thinking changes that this is possible for me mm. it's a matter of time mm. that goes questions are powerful Powerful. Are powerful. Yeah. So yes, I like that. That's the like that. Okay, so if you think you have points you think we've not touched on, leave them in the comment section. Yes. Let's learn together. We'll Let's respond fix, to you. explore ideas together. Absolutely. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you haven't done so. Yes. And you want some if you want us to work with you and show you, you know, work with you to practice this step step by step to be able to hold you accountable to achieve what you want to do. We will be happy to help you. Mm. So click on the link that we have and then we'll see what we can do together. All right. On to building healthier families. Until we come your way again, it's bye from us.